guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and Alex. Hey, hi, buddy. Today I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you. Who am I beat? Today was my first day back to work, and oh, dog, does my arm hurt? And I had my physical therapy yesterday, and that does not help. Um. I don't know if I ever told you what they did, but they cleaned up my rotator cuff, so that's fine. Um, I had some arthritis here in this, called your AC joint, and they took about a quarter of an inch of my collarbone off. So that's healing. It's tender, but it's healing. But then the big thing was uh, my bicep tendon was peeling away or something. It was coming like a cuticle, it was coming off. So he moved it and reattached it and that's what's causing my problem not problem but pain right now it's my tendons are very tight and my bicep has not been used in about six weeks so i can lift my arm on the other side maybe here and very little that way so that's what the therapy is to do is to help me oh, let me get you situated here is to help me stretch it out a little better and uh, get it stretched and then in two weeks I will start muscle building so building the muscle back up because it's been not used for such a long time today's drink is iced tea it's like almost seven o'clock six thirty going on seven um, yep so I have a very tiny Dollar Tree haul for you that I thought I would share real quick because it's going to tie into either tomorrow or Tuesday's video. I'm not sure when I'm gonna be able to get this done, but we'll see with being back to work and all that. So I'm gonna awkwardly reach over here and show you the things that I purchased. Um, I picked up some more of this wired jute. I'm thinking of making a sign and using this to spell out a word. That could be fun, right? One idea, but I grabbed one more while I saw it. I grabbed this gigantic shoehorn. So part of my physical therapy, it's called passive stretching. So I am using this as a tool. So I can hold this on with just hold it, but I use my right arm to like stretch out the tendon and stuff. So I have to lay on the ground and I needed something long enough. So I'm just gonna hold this with my left arm and do all the exercises. Really, my right arm will be pushing my left arm. But I didn't have anything, so I thought the shoe one would be perfect. And I could decorate it too, that would be fun. With some washi tape. So I grabbed this big old shoe horn for that. I finally, finally found these stickers. Um, they're the black, they're pop-up with a chalk on the back. I'm not sure if you can see, they do stick out. <gasps> Look at that bicycle. And then it says, live for today, good times, enjoy with the flowers, but it's on the back black background, which I really like. And then this one says, love, hello, live for today with some more flowers. I know it's got a bad glare. There we go. And then this one is thankful, faithful, with some more outdoorsy stuff. I just thought these were wonderful. Uh, making some cards or decorate my planner. I don't know, but I was on the hunt for them. And I'm trying not to buy a lot of stickers because I have a great, you know, sticker collection. But these were different. I needed these in my life. So I got those. Because, girl, I can justify anything. Mm-hmm. I can. I bought for some cleaning. I saw this for the first time and it's like the sponge, but it's a scrub brush and you somehow take, oh, I can't do it. When Sarah comes, she'll take it apart for me and we'll fill this with dish soap or some kind of soap. Cause what I'm actually thinking about doing is putting a vinegar and Dawn combination in here and using this to scrub shower walls. And I have in my my mom's slash my craft room's bathroom has a stand-up shower with glass doors. It's a mess. They're just soap scum and stuff. So I thought a little bit of vinegar and Dawn in here and scrub the shower walls with that and the glass. And it's a nice bristle. 
So I grabbed one of those. This is the first time I had seen that at my store. They do have the ones like this, but this is a sponge, but I really wanted a scrubby to get, and I have tile in my shower and my mom's shower has tile, so to get the grout and stuff, perfect. And you just use regular Dawn, not any of the scented stuff, just the blue Dawn and some vinegar. For grilling, I got these tongs. Look at how big they are. They are nice and large. So I use charcoal and I have a small grill. I'll show you one night. I'll do a cooking keto for one and we'll grill something. But A, I have to put the charcoal in and then get the grate on top. And that this is nice and long that I won't burn my fingers. And it's metal for the thing. Now something I saw on Pinterest, you can wrap each end in like a microfiber and rubber band them on and spray them and clean your mini blinds. Too firm. I'm not doing that today because I'll show you why in a second, but, and the only blinds that I have down here, they're about three, two inches wide, they're big, so I'm going to use a different product, but anyway, I got these, I think I had a pair from last year, but they're not, you know, the best quality, but they're perfect for using for the summer and throw them away, they're a dollar, you know, but they're good for the outdoor grill. The tongs that I have in the house all have silicone and rubber, and I don't like to put them on the grill, they get melty. Uh, food purchases, I grabbed some more garlic because I was out. And this stuff is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. It's good. I like it. And for a dollar, you can't beat it. I eat a lot of garlic. So I grabbed some garlic. And then I got another can of the Azul coconut milk, which is very clean. Um, I made the Indian Tikka inspired chicken wings. They were really good. So now I will do a cooking keto for one and make them for you. But I wanted to try it first and you marinate them in some spiced coconut milk. So I needed another can of that. And then I found at my, one of my Dollar Trees had these Vlasic, they're called Snackums Spicy Minis. I love a pickle and I love a spicy pickle. So I grabbed two jars of this and it's Vlasic brand, um, 16 fluid ounces. There's probably a Best Buy date, but I think if you know pickles don't go bad, so I'm not too concerned. However, I don't even see a date on here because I don't honestly believe pickles go bad. Plus, I eat them. This is a gluten-free, made with sea salt, GMO-free. It's cucumbers, water. There is sugar in it. That's unfortunate. Distilled vinegar, sea salt, dehydrated red pepper, calcium, chloride, natural flavor. So, the third ingredient is sugar, which means there's a fair amount of sugar in here. So, I will give these to my cousin. He will eat them. They are not anti-sugar. Although, I have to check my other pickles. Anywho, um, I did pick up these scrub buddies. I was cleaning my grill. I've already opened them. Um, I will tell you the best hack ever. Are you ready? I, again, I have a small, it's a Weber, but it's a small charcoal grill. And I left it out by mistake over the winter time. And when I went out there the other day, it is disgust. Well, haha, was disgusting. I needed to clean my oven and I'm like, I'm going to put this dang grate in my oven. And I put it in there, filthy and all. I didn't touch it. Threw it in the oven, turned the oven on self-clean. It cleaned all night, come down in the morning, took it out. Now, a lot of the buildup on it, like chipped off into my oven. So I had to vacuum that out, whatever. I scrubbed it down with a wire brush and then I scrubbed it down with one of these and it's perfect. I mean, it's not like brand new, obviously, duh, it's six years old, but... It works so easy to clean your uh, grate for your grill. If it fits, mine's small, it fits in my oven. But I used these to get the rest of it off. It got a little rusty, but I got all the rest off. So these are pretty good. Um, they had the Brillo brand, but I don't know. There was 10 in here and I don't, I don't use these very frequently, but for outdoor cleaning, I do use them. So I grabbed a box of those. And then I found, which I am so excited about, look at these, heavy duty Clorox cleaning wipes for bathrooms, garage tools, paint, and kitchens. Tough on grease, dirt, and grime. Extra large, extra thick. And let me tell you, this thing is heavy. There are 12 8 by 10 wipes, so they're huge. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to use these on my mini blinds, which aren't mini. They're on my back door. But I'm going to use these and see how they work. And then if I like them, I may go grab another pack. Because there's only, like I said, there's 
12 white, but they're eight by 10. They're the size of a piece of paper. That's big. So I found those and there are the Clorox brand. So that was exciting. Now, the last things I got, these items here are gonna be for a review video that I wanna put together on these items. I've been looking at them for years and I've never purchased them. So we're gonna try them together. Um, downstairs, I'm gonna point down because that's my downstairs. Um, I have a spare bedroom down there and I have white bedding, white sheets, white pillowcase. It's all white. And my brother is coming to stay for a little bit. So I'm taking all the white off because he has a dog. So I'm like, you need to bring your bedding. He's going to stay with me in between apartments while he's waiting for his other apartment to be ready. But I'm like, you've got a dog and I have white everywhere. So we're putting it all away. So I grabbed anyway one of these jumbo blanket storage bags. So I grabbed one of those and we are going to pack up everything downstairs in my basement in these containers. So I got one of the jumbo blankets. I picked up one of the sweater storage bags. This is a two pack, I'm sorry, of the sweater storage bags. So we have two of those, that size. I thought maybe sheets for these. I grabbed one of these essential vacuum storage bags. It shows four towels. So let's see if I can squeeze four towels in here and suck out all the air. And if they work, I'll get more. But I grabbed one of that to try. And then I got a mesh laundry bag for just extra stuff to put it away. So we're gonna try out these items tomorrow. I'm hoping to come home tomorrow night and be able to do it and give it to you on Friday. Uh, we'll see how my arm is feeling right now. I'm getting an ice pack out and I'm going to lay down because it's very tender today. And it's not from using it. I mean, I did type, but it's just from, I mean, I guess I did use it because I was typing, but it was sitting on my desk. But anyway, it hurts. So, and this mesh laundry bag is 36 by 24 inches. So we're going to see how this does holding some stuff. So I've always wanted to try their storage packaging like this because I have bought stuff in the past but it's super expensive now I don't anticipate this is going to be more than a one or two time use but I think for long-term storage um like for me when I take off my winter bedding and pull out my summer bedding you know if that works I'll put my winter comforters in those stack them nicely in my closet and if they last through the winter or summer or two, you know, it's well worth a dollar. So we are gonna see tomorrow or Mon Tuesday, Monday will be keto food, um, how those work and if they're worth the dollar. <sighs> All right, everybody, I gotta go let the other cat in. He's on my back patio laying for a little bit. He likes it out there and he's very sad that I went to work today. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you like, subscribe, share, comment below what you think about these items and see if you're excited as I am to try them out and I will talk to you later. Bye. Have a good one.